On a deadline to get your content developed, have subject matter experts, SMEs, who know the process but who don't have time or the instructional design expertise to develop e-learning content, Instant Producer allows SMEs to record the processes and share their knowledge quickly and easily. This topic, one in a series of tips provided by Intellego for Enforced Learning Accelerator, explains the benefits of recording with Instant Producer. This video helps you understand what Instant Producer is and shows you how to record and edit with Instant Producer. Instant Producer is a wizard-driven mini recorder that is simple to use. It is meant for non-training personnel to record transactions with which they are familiar. Then they can hand off the recording to a training developer who uses the full-blown producer tool to finish editing the recording, to incorporate it into training courses consisting of many recordings, and to publish the course. In this example, you are the subject matter expert. When you open Instant Producer, the welcome pop-up window displays. Recordings are called projects. If you need to record a project, click the Record New Project button. If you have already created a project, you can edit it. The Record New Project pop-up window allows you to name the project, set the language and the target application, or recording profile of the software to be recorded. Once you have set these items, the record button becomes active. The record bar displays on the screen. In this example, it displays at the top of the screen. Instant Producer will then record the steps that you make. Perform your process in your target application. In this example, we insert a table into a Word document. Once you have finished the recording, click Stop, then close the record bar. The finished recording pop-up window displays. This window allows you to save, play, edit, or delete the project. You may want to delete a project if you've recorded mistakes in your process or if the recording is no longer needed. In this example, we will edit our project. You can add explanation bubbles to explain additional information to learners and add notes to producer authors asking them to make additional edits that cannot be made in Instant Producer. When you have finished the edits to the content, save your changes, you can preview the course. This is what the recording looks like when it is played back in Instant Producer. You can also generate a document from the recording or publish an EXE file of the recording for learners to use. Instant Producer's editing and publishing ability is limited because it is designed to work in conjunction with the full producer tool. Therefore, it is recommended to have another author edit and publish the project using Producer. When you return to the Project Explorer, you can change the status of the project. The Change Status pop-up window is used to set the status of the project in Instant Producer and to update the Tasks list in Manager when the project is saved to Manager. You can also edit, delete, or save the project to Manager. Save the project to Manager and finish editing it when you are done making edits to the project. After the project has been saved to Manager, using the Save and Finish Editing option, the project can be opened in Producer. This allows a producer author to finish editing the project and to incorporate it into a training course that consists of many projects. Note that once a producer author has made changes to the project, the project cannot be opened in Instant Producer again. This video helps you understand what Instant Producer is and showed you how to record and edit with Instant Producer. Instant Producer allows subject matter experts to record the processes and share their knowledge quickly and easily.